My name is David Lopresti. I'm co-owner of ADA Compliance Professionals. We help anyone with a commercial property work toward becoming ADA compliant. We have 1,100 CAS reports under our belts. I'm Mark Tudor of ADA Compliance Professionals. I've been a licensed contractor for over 40 years. I've been a certified CASP consultant since July of 2011. My mother had a disability. I personally saw the impact of not being able to have accessibility. About 25% of the American population has some level of disability. Anyone who is involved in a business or a public accommodation must comply with the Americans with Disability Act. For people with disabilities, life can be very challenging. The core essence of ADA is that nobody should be restricted from having access to a place. If anyone is wanting to open a business, they need to be aware of ADA law. You have to offer those experienced to all your customers, regardless if they're in a wheelchair or in crutches or not. There is a real focus on disability to provide like services for everyone. Over the course of the last year, we've seen about a 30% increase in the volume of ADA lawsuits. There's law firms that are serial litigants. Unfortunately, a lot of these law firms are in it for the profit and not for championing the rights of accessibility. Over all of the properties that we're assessing for ADA compliance, about a third of them are involved in an active litigation. The law firms that drive these lawsuits do tend to come back. It is only getting more extreme. There is a cottage industry that is focused on suing as many businesses as possible. We look at interior accessible elements. Restrooms are a hot button item. 3094 refers to pinching, twisting, and turning of operable parts for accessible elements. There's a five pound limit on most of the accessible elements that have operable parts. An example of that would be a, a drinking fountain, soap dispenser, a shower seat. There's probably about a, a hundred different elements in a restroom that could make it non-compliant. For these law firms that are specializing in this, there's a lot out there for them to choose from. We get a lot of clients who are absolutely blindsided. We had a client lose $200,000 by incorrect construction only to get sued again. Anything that is cited in a lawsuit for an ADA case that is non-compliant does have to be addressed and they can get very expensive. If you are being proactive about bringing your property into compliance, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and money. It is in everyone's interest to bring their property into compliance. Be proactive and not reactive. There is a whole network of these serial litigants out there, and if one of them doesn't get you, another one will. A solution to the growing problem is to be compliant. Don't wait for a lawsuit.